Clutch Trucker is filmed before a live studio audience. You see he's getting furrier and furrier as the videos go on. It's almost time for him to be groomed. Wow. Hey YouTube, thanks again for tuning in to the uh, Clutch Trucker channel for another edition here. Uh, subject of today's video is headlight bulbs and driving at night, okay? So we'll kind of tackle both together because they uh, kind of go together, baby. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. All right, um, driving at night. First off, just let me say, I'm a huge fan of driving at night because most of the other truckers aren't out there. A buddy of mine who uh, bought my last truck, he likes to call uh, those guys solar powered truckers. Yeah, meaning they only drive during the daytime. And as soon as it starts to get dark, whoa, they're whipping into a truck stop. The great advantages of uh, driving at night are uh, there's hardly any traffic out there. Uh, and also then you're gonna get parked in the morning uh, when everyone else is trying to rush their way back out there to join all the rest of the traffic. So if I can, I really prefer to drive at night. Uh, I know a lot of people can't handle flipping their schedule like that. Uh, in trucking, your schedule flips all the time anyway. You might as well embrace it and drive at night because there's so much less traffic and not a bad way to go. Now, there's a caveat to that, and I know maybe a few of you truck drivers are going, caveat, what the hell does that mean? That's a big word, I've never heard that before. There's a but, a big but. <laughs> I'm not making fun of all truck drivers. Some, there, there are quite a few of us out here who are educated, but I know there's some who aren't. And, you know, if you take offense to, offense to that, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, the caveat to that, of course, is bad weather. Uh, driving at night in bad weather, uh, where there's ice and snow situations, a lot of times it's really hard to tell if it is ice on that roadway or it's just a little wet. And that's the bad side to trying to drive at night. I tend to mainly try to drive at night in the summer months uh, and the better weather months, but at uh, you know when it's bad roads, uh, bad snow, bad ice conditions on the road, uh, you know then I will tend to drive more in the daytime because you know you can't tell when that's uh, just a little bit wet or it's turning to ice and you're in the ditch. Don't want to have to do that, baby. Now, a good example for driving at night. Yesterday, I really meant to leave earlier in the daytime. But I, I wasn't feeling too good. And, you know, that happens to a lot of us out here. I mean, it, you know, it's not like a regular job, you know, where you can call in sick. You can not call in sick. Uh, I picked up a load in uh, White City is where it is. Uh, Oregon. A uh, load of frames uh, and molding. You know, molding the door frames and door moldings and wall moldings, stuff like that. Fills up the trailer, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Uh, it has to deliver in Maryland, Barclay, Maryland, on Monday. So it's about a 3,000 mile drive. So I have six days to do it in. Uh, I wasn't feeling so hot. Uh, you know, that happens every now and then, you know, you, you can't control that. And didn't really feel like getting out of the road uh, earlier in the day. So I left last night and drove as far as I could, which is to the, uh, again, to the Traveler's Oasis here in Eden, Idaho. Great place to park, by the way. A huge lot. And uh, you can always find a spot here. Um, so if you're ever coming through Idaho on I-84, not a bad place to park. Anyway, so I drove through the night. and uh, Which is probably good because I had to drive through near Crater Lake in Oregon. And then I drove up through Bend. And then took Highway 20 all the way to uh, Ontario. Oregon and that's a long way across Oregon and a lot of that uh, area you can only go 45 miles an hour anyway so you might as well not have any traffic to deal with so it still took a long time but I didn't really have to deal with any traffic was the nice up part to that whole drive now of course the uh, bad side about driving at night is you got to have good headlights and now this is a two, uh, 2016 2016 uh, Freightliner Coronado uh, now the downside to that is because it's a glider kit and it's a Coronado, it has the older style uh, headlights, the round, I think they're seven inch headlights, uh, and uh, uses the standard old um, 9006 XS bulb. XS just means it's a straight plug-in from the bulb coming out of the socket as opposed to the uh, elbowed ones, okay? 
9006 is basically what you need to know. Problem is, those are just a standard halogen bulb, and they, they didn't illuminate all that well. The uh, fixture it goes into doesn't have the best reflective quality. And uh, I, I, a lot of times, I just couldn't really see all that well at night. Uh, I got frustrated after a long time, a couple of years dealing with that, and finally last year, uh, around November or so of last year, I did buy uh, some new LED headlight bulbs. Now, not the whole unit, not the whole headlight itself, the headlight assembly, which you can do, that's more expensive, and it's tricky getting the right um, uh, one to fit for your truck. Like I say, the Coronado it uses the same round headlights that the old Centuries and old Columbia's did, okay? But you can uh, do a quick fix without replacing the whole unit by just replacing the bulbs themselves with LEDs, and I found a great place to do that. Okay, super bright, LEDs.com. S-U-P-E-R-B-R-I-G-H-T-L-E-D-S.com is where I found these great replacement bulbs where you only have to get the bulbs, you don't have to replace the whole housing. Uh, and guess what? $39.95 for the pair, for two of them, for the pair of headlight bulbs. I put them in last November. It is now October of 2019. They've lasted 11 months and I haven't replaced them since, okay? Great value, I'm gonna buy another pair. I'll show you a picture of them right now. They were real easy to install. Uh, they have the same fitting, so they go into the same socket as my 9006 XS's did. Uh, and here's the, the, the kicker. I was paying about 60 bucks a pair from O'Reilly's, and that's even cheaper than a truck stop, for the uh, Sylvania Super Bright XHMs or XHZs or X, it had an X and a Z in there, I remember that, all right? But 60 bucks a pair, and they'd only last me about three months uh, because they were super bright and they uh, didn't last over time. And they even said that on the package that, hey, these won't last you all that long. But, you know, they were better than the standard 9006 XS bulbs that came with a truck. You can buy just the standard replacement at a TA or Petro. Grand General is usually what they have. Uh, but they are still about 20 to 30 bucks for a set. And they didn't last any longer, and they weren't very bright at all. I had a real hard time seeing at night before I got my LED bulbs. But got these, uh, as I showed you the picture there a minute ago, of these LED bulbs, $39.95, 40 bucks for the pair, and they've lasted me damn near a year where I was only getting three months out of these Sylvanias that were 60 bucks a pair. So superbrightleds.com, go check them out, see if they have a replacement for the size of bulb you need. They probably do, and uh, it's it, you're gonna be amazed at the difference. I never use my brights anymore, why? Because my regular headlight bulbs with the LEDs now uh, project just as far as my brights would. Everything's brighter, I can see very well. I like the light color, it's, it's a very nice white light. Uh, you're gonna be pleased with those. So try those guys out, super bright, leds.com, and uh, you'll be pleased. Now I did try to order a pair of the uh, brights from them. Those were 9,005s. The ones I got from them, they, they really weren't all that good but they're not any worse than just a standard 9005 bulb in there. I just went back to the standard 9005 bulb for my brights because I hardly ever use my brights. About the only time I ever do kick my brights on is to let some ass wagon going the other way know that he's got his brights on. Doesn't that really just piss you off? I know it just, grrr. Uh, anyway. Now, speaking of lights, uh, I did do one little quick repair on my own uh, going through Oregon. I stopped in Lapine, Oregon, uh, because my I have the uh, red lights that aim down in the wheel wells on either side. At night, I always keep those on because I've got the dog with me on the, it lights up where his pet bed is on the right side. And on the left side, I've just gotten used to have that having that on. Well, that one went out on me, and so I needed to replace it. Luckily, they had a replacement there at the little truck stop in Lapine, Oregon, 
and uh, I'll show you a picture of that. Yeah, so I had this light go out on me, and of course, I'm sitting on my steering wheel right now, but this is my little red light, my uh, wheel well light, which if I turn that light on, you can see down here, it lights up the floor. I don't have any shoes on right now. Uh, and it's just mounted up there underneath, and uh, this one is one of those really easy ones, just like a license plate light. Uh, it has uh, plugs in the back, so it just plugs in, and all you got to do to pull this out of its little housing is stick a uh, screwdriver right up in one edge, and they pop right out. It's a beautiful thing. And here's the really good news. Uh, that's the old one, because obviously the new one's in, because you can see it's lighting. I bought this at a uh, little tiny truck stop in uh, Lapine, Oregon. And you can see the price on that, $2.99. $2.99, that's all it cost to replace that. Took me literally 30 seconds. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, another thing that happened in the past few days is I got a crack in my uh, passenger side windshield. You know, being a truck driver, we drive so many miles every year, we get broken windshields a lot. Cracks in the windshield a lot. Of course, this one, uh, I'll show you the video on that, started right there in the center and went right on up pretty damn obvious um, at least it's not on the driver's side which DOT or uh, cops can give you a lot more hassle about so but still I always want to make sure as soon as that happens I can get an appointment to get it replaced immediately I'm gonna be heading back through the house uh, tomorrow uh, today's Thursday the whatever it is uh, 24th of uh, October uh, tomorrow I'll be back through the house and I've got a, an appointment scheduled for Safe Light to come out and do it at my house, which is nice when I can get it that way, uh, tomorrow morning between 8 and noon, so they'll replace the glass and then while I'm taking a break and I'll get back on the road that night. <clears throat> so they're going to come out and do that, um, but you know, that happens at least a couple times a year. I've got great insurance. Uh, one thing when I bought this truck, they uh, offered something, they said, well, hey, do you want to do this special thing we have, the no deductible windshields? I said, oh, mm, I'm intrigued, tell me more. And they said, well, you get up to two windshield replacements a year, absolutely free, no deductible, if you opt for that on your insurance. And they offered me that insurance when I bought this truck. So it's rolled into my truck payment. And uh, believe me, it's a beautiful thing. I've used it every year since. I've replaced at least two windshields a year and I haven't had to pay for them at all because it's usually worked out to two a year so it's a beautiful thing so I'm gonna get this one replaced tomorrow for free love it baby love it yeah look at this big old crack in the windshield started it over there and it goes all the way up to there so yep got to get that replaced but the good news is don't cost me a thing baby thank you all right, so hope you enjoyed this video about driving at night uh, and headlights and headlight bulbs. Hope that gave you some information. Um, you should never be paying a shop, by the way, to replace your headlight bulbs. That always cracks me up. When I go to a, a shop and I'm uh, waiting in line for some other major thing that I can't handle, which, you know, a lot of times is not a lot of stuff, and there's guys waiting in line for hours to get a headlight bulb replaced. A headlight bulb! Really? Are you that incompetent? And now I know, I know, a lot of you guys will say, hey, well, my company won't let me replace my own headlight bulb. I don't know why. That's insane. I, I worked for, uh, was it, well companies, I think. They didn't want me to do that either. But you know what? I still did it on my own because I wanted it replaced right away, and I didn't want to have to wait. I just didn't tell them about it. But that's me. They're so easy to replace, and... Most of them cost what, 10 to 20 bucks? Hello? There! Anyway. <laughs> and you're gonna pay a shop 65, because they have to charge you at least a half hour, 65 bucks to get a headlight replaced? This is my dumbfounded look. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please subscribe, please like, ring the bell, uh, comment if you would like, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust, as always, clutch out.